Hey everyone, so I wanted to do a completely separate video um, just for this skill. So since I've started on this journey, I've been wanting to learn something um, and something new, not something that I've used to play with or something that I've had a little bit of practice with or that's a variation of a new skill. And one of the things I thought would be really cool to learn was a double-double because it wasn't something that we really thought about much in my career. It didn't quite fit and the timing wasn't right. Um, not really a lot of people were doing it <laughs> when I was training and when I was competing, or not that many. So when I started on this journey again, um, a lot of questions I was getting was, you know, what is one thing you might want to learn? Is there a skill that you want to do that you never have? Um, and that is one of them that popped into my head. So I started, just recently started doing some drills for it to, you know, work on timing and twisting and also trying to be able to visualize it because that's one thing that I, for me, uh, pretty much need to be able to do in order to do a skill and I was really struggling with trying to figure out like the twist, the twist and the flip and everything. Um, so I started doing drills and some open double tucks, some open full ins to try to, you know, feel that and feel the timing. And today, well, Friday, May 15th, um, it clicked. Hi, Lucy. And it was amazing to be able to learn something completely new to me that I have never done before. Um, you know, at this age, you know, when I'm just playing around and having fun in the gym to be able to learn something. Um, I just feel super, super accomplished and just uh, completely ecstatic about it. And I wanted to put together kind of a compilation of everything I've done leading up to my very first ever double-double attempt. I have a good friend who is a phenomenal tumbling coach. Hi, Justin, thank you. Um, but he sent me these drills to start doing for spotting and twist timing on May 7th. So my first day trying these on tramp was May 8th. I also sped up these trampoline sections just to clip it along, um, but you still obviously get the idea of what I was doing. This here is a first open double tuck I tried in this process. Um, as you can see, it flipped really slow. It wasn't very good at all. Um, but then the second one, once I got that first one over with, it was much better. I, I went a lot harder. Um, and you could tell just a big difference. Here is another day of the trampoline drills.
yet another day of drills on the trampoline. Actually, um, I'm not the biggest fan of drills. A lot of times I like to try to just figure it out in my head and be like, okay, I can do it and try it. Um, that wasn't the case for this because um, I had a hard time trying to visualize the timing of the double-double and, you know, what to spot and where to see so I could really see the significance um, in doing these drills to be able to help me with timing and help me with spotting because I also am a gymnast who really needs to be able to see what I'm doing and not just feel. I like to see and feel what I'm doing. This is my last day of doing drills on the tramp. I think before I tried it, um, there's me stopping because something <laughs> flew up into my eye. Um, then I get going again. So this first drill is just timing and spotting. I was trying to see the ground as I was twisting into the half. This next drill um, coming up was really important for me, especially because I like to twist early and rush. So doing the tuck pull into the half stomach drop to really spot the end of the tuck pull and wait a little bit before going into the half twist to the stomach drop instead of just laying and twisting right away. This drill was also important for me to really be patient on the twist, to really get your feet up and under you before you start twisting instead of twisting immediately off the tramp. So this open full in is the first one that I really tried to spot the ground after the first slip and I yelled because I was so happy to see it. I texted a video to Justin of my first one and he said, okay, great, next one, bring your arms in for the second flip so they're ready to twist. Um, and here it is. So I kind of wish we had videos going beforehand and leading up to me actually trying it, just videos at me um, and how I was feeling and what I was saying, because it was funny. And I actually, I had done just an open tuck double, um, two full ins, texted Justin, who I've been talking to, who's been great and giving me a lot of drills. You know, told me to do something a little different from the arms for another one. I went in um, in the back and got my dad as well, asked him to watch one. So he watched my second open full in. And then I did another one with the arms. I did the open full in, brought my arms in to get ready for the next twist. Um, I was ready to, to be like, okay, that's enough for today. I, I was able to see the ground for the first time ever mid um, full in after the very first flip and I was super excited. You can actually hear me yell in the first video of the full ins from Friday. And then my dad goes, eh, just try it. I'm like, I wasn't, 
didn't know if I was totally ready or not, but my dad was like, oh, just give it a go. You're ready. You got this. Um, and from the second he said that, the butterflies started going in my stomach. I started to get really nervous. I was like, maybe I need to go throw up or something. Um, I didn't. But just all of those nerves and those feelings, I haven't felt that in a really, really long time. And it was crazy just him saying that and then me maybe considering trying it. I had just that reaction. Um, I went back, you know, towards the mat to get ready. Um, just so nervous, saying out loud. I just like, we were going back and forth. I'm like, what should I think? I'm like, okay, I need to think full, full, really spot the end of that first full so I know when the second full is coming. Um, so those are the words and that's what I was thinking. I was visualizing full, full. Um, <laughs> And again, going back and forth with my dad, I remember saying, I am scared. And he goes, oh, we should have had that in video. So here I am telling you, those are my words. I was, I was so nervous. Um, finally, I stepped up and went. Uh, it actually, it felt pretty good, the first one. I did see the fall. I knew where I was, which I was really, really happy about. Um, and then tried one more, and it was even a little bit smoother the second time around. So I'm just so so overjoyed that I was able to successfully try something new in my 30s. Come on, Cho. Also, just wanted to add a big, big thank you to my dad for giving me that push and to Justin for helping me with my drills and also giving me a push to give it a try. Thank you both.